Hi and welcome, my name is Lawrence Baker and this video is going to be about using Apply Image to create luminosity masks in Photoshop. I'm in Lightroom, I took three shots at 2 EV apart using exposure bracketing, 0 EV, minus 2 and 2 EV. I've got them all selected, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. One document with these three layers in it. Now if I was being really fussy, I'd have three documents with smart objects in because these are raw files. Bring them into one document, so there's three layers in one document. Then I've got access to Adobe Camera Raw and I can really make powerful edits. But anyway, this is about Ply Image, so I don't want to waste too much time. Right, here we are, F7 for the layers. We definitely need to auto-align them. So shift-click on the bottom one, three layers selected. Edit, auto-align layers. Make sure it's on auto, go OK. Now this will definitely create a few transparent pixels at the edge. There's always a tiny amount of movement. So yeah, if you Z or Z, zoom in here, you can see I've got transparent pixels at the edge. Command or Control zero to fit on screen and Command minus once so you can see what I'm doing with the crop. F7 to lose that panel. So crop tool and just bring it in, get rid of that mask as well while I'm at it, down there. Down at the bottom, I'm not being fussy here. I'm not using content aware fill or anything like that. I just want to get on. So a little bit more off there, I think. And press return and see what that looks like. Yeah, it's fine. Now F7 again for the layers panel. Ultra option key kept pressed. That's obviously the bright one. I'm going to name it up. I always name my layers. 2EV, I could call it bright. Ultra option key kept pressed. So it only makes that one visible. That's the dark one, minus 2EV. And this one, Ultra Option Key Cap Press, click in there, and that's the Zero EV one. Personally, I always have the Zero EV one on the bottom. Everyone has their own methods. Personally, I leave it at the bottom. It's good practice just to have this Zero EV or Balanced Exposure, the only visible one, and I'll show you why in a minute. The minus two EV one, don't make it visible. Add a layer mask. Off we go. Image, apply image of which I got a keyboard shortcut I created a few minutes ago. Now, it always defaults to merged, and merged means, you know, any visible layer. So I've only got the zero EV one visible. The problem with merged is you might make one of these visible when you shouldn't, because it should always be the zero EV one that's visible, and you might make a mistake. So personally, I do this. I make sure it's always on the balanced exposure. So the source is the same document, obviously, as the target, but this source here is that zero EV layer. It says there, the zero EV layer. Even if it's on merge, it'll only be that visible layer that works, but back to zero EV. That's the source, and the target is that layer mask there. We're using the blending mode multiply. It works slightly differently multiply here than it does when you use it in the layers. I don't want to dwell on the maths of this, but basically it works differently. Now, what it will do, it will just take the overall luminosity values of the composite channel, the red, green, and blue channel, to create a mask. It's an exact representation of the luminosity values in the zero EV one in that mask there. That's what it's doing. Don't tick invert and preview. It's pretty obvious what it does and just go, okay. What's this done? So. Let's click on this, Command-0 to fit on screen. It's made the sky a bit better, like so. Now, you can run Apply Image more than once, and it makes the, the mask stronger each time you do it, but I'm going to leave it on that one. Down to the 2EV one, add a layer mask, Image, Apply Image, and we just keep the same settings, but we invert the mask, like so. OK. Now, let's put these two on, see how we're getting on. It's looking reasonable good, a bit flat. I think I need to run Apply Image more times. So let's Alt-click on it so you can see what's going on as I do this. Keyboard shortcuts all the time. I'm not going to go up to the menu. So you can see the sky getting darker. That's what I'm after. So none of the sky shows through on this bright layer. Off we go. Keep going. I haven't finished yet. I know I have a lot of other tools available, like curves or whatever, or levels, but I'm just going to keep doing it because I need to work quickly. It's getting better each time. 
And one more time, I think. I don't think I'm going to have much effect after this one. Oh, go on, one more time. So I've run that lots of times. So let's get back. Now, the reason I've got that Rubylith overlay, in the channels, I've got the minus two EV mask visible. So let's sort of look at this and think, well, it's not that bad, actually. It needs a bit of work. I think it's a bit flat there. Uh, I'm not going to play anymore. You've got the concept. Let's get rid of that crop overlay there. You've got the concept. That's how you use apply image to create luminosity masks. You can see the power. The more you do this, the more you'll experiment. And don't forget, if you're going to use merged, make sure the balance exposure is the one that's visible. But I recommend you name your layers up and make sure inside of apply image, you don't use merged, but you use the zero EV or balanced exposure layer. That's it, guys. Thanks very much.